release your squad. We are ready for training, so it is important. Make sure that you have done your warm up first. If you haven't, press pause and just march on the spot for one minute, and then I'm ready to start training you for your 100 rep workout. Okay, so for the first move, we're gonna come into a split stance. You've got your toes in front pointing forwards, lean forwards, and then you're gonna rotate the upper body as if you're just drawing a circle, then you lunge forwards. We're just doing five, leading with one leg here. So lunge forward, then rotate that upper body round, twist it round, and then come back in front. This is really good for working through the waist, plus we're working through the thighs at the same time. So really extend forwards, and now let's just change legs. So you're in that split stance, the toes are pointing in front on that leg in front, and the foot behind is pointing slightly out, and just reach forwards, rotate round, and then lunge forwards, rotate round, and then lunge. And this is a slightly yoga inspired move, but is really, really good at helping develop strength and tone through the waist as well as toning through that lower body. Okay, so for the next exercise, we're still going to be standing. I want you to stand as wide as you can, toes pointing out, um, heels up, and you're going to hold and pulse. Now, if you find this too hard for balance, grab a chair and just have your hands on the chair, but still keep the heels lifted. So what we're doing now, we are working really into those inner thighs. This is why today's workout is called Bring on the Beach, because we're going to be targeting all those areas that we want to keep nice and toned. So you're just going to go nice and low and come back up and of course there's no point in just working the lower body let's add the arms in as well that's good well done and again keep those heels lifted by taking them up just means you work more into those inner thighs okay so for the next exercise and you do come down onto the floor we're going to be on your hands and knees and this time all I want you to do is just extend one arm and leg away and hold for a second then draw it back in. Keep your tummy pulled in tight as you extend that opposite arm to leg and then hold and also when you're in that position especially with the leg behind you just squeeze tight into the glutes. So you're just doing 10 reps. That's good and come back tummy tight extend away and back. And just with everything, just imagine you're working through resistance. So tense all your muscles as you're doing this. So you're really in control and we're really maximizing the effort that we're getting from each move. Okay, so this time now, just come around to sitting, face up. We are now going to work, get rid of those bingo wings. That's your start position. And now we're just doing 10 reps. Let's just lower down to the ground and really go as low as you can. Always keep the fingertips pointing forwards and your elbows directly backwards. And as said, we're just doing 10 reps. Okay, well done. So let's jump straight back up to standing. We're going to go back to that first move. So remember with this one, you're in a split stance. The foot behind, the legs are point, toes pointing out, the leg in front, toes pointing forwards. So now circle that round. Imagine you've got a pen in your hand and you're drawing a huge big circle and as big as you can make it just means you're working more into the waist you're just going five on one side and then when you do this lunge forwards now that's where you're really toning into the thighs okay well done let's change now take that to that opposite leg so the leg in front the toes point forwards the leg behind that out to a 45 degree angle okay and rotate that round for five lunge forwards rotate it round and with everything, always ensure you're working through your fullest range of movement. That's where we're going to really tighten and tone those muscles. You're doing really well. That's good. And again, well done. Perfect. All right, so let's come back to work those thighs. So standing really wide and heels up for me now. Remember, if you find that too hard for balance, you're just going to do it holding onto the chair. And just you kind of do a pile squat but you go a little bit lower and try it and stay low because the lower you go the more you're working into those inner thighs it's important keep your heels lifted and also really try and focus on keeping the upper body as straight as you can extend those arms out so here we're working your abs we're working your bottom we're working your thighs and we're working your arms and even your chest as well okay that's good well done keeping that going all right, so let's get ready to come down onto the floor. So we're gonna come back down onto your hands and knees. 
So with this one here, try and keep your hips as still as you can as you extend that leg away. And you can really do that by pulling that belly button in really tight to the spine. That's good. Okay, well done. And we're going to go another six. So we squeeze it out and back. And always lift that arm as high as you can so you can feel that through the shoulders. And that leg behind, squeeze tight into the bottom. Good. Well done. And like always, just keep thinking of all those benefits you're going to get from today's workout. All right, so let's come back round to sitting now into this position. And um, we'll go straight for doing those triceps. So fingers point in, we're just doing 10. Squeeze it back. And again with this one, keep the elbows pointing directly backwards and make sure you're leaning back as far as you can, feeling that in the back of the upper arms. Okay, so that is your workout complete, so well done. Now, if you didn't find it that challenging, what you can do is you can simply repeat the whole routine a second time, turning that into a 200 rep workout. And likewise, if you still want more, then you're super fit, then you could do it an extra 100 reps, turning that into a 300 rep workout. What is important, make sure you have plenty of water. Don't forget to do my stretches. The link's just up here somewhere, one of these corners. Um, do the cool down stretches, then as always, hashtag done, Lucy's squad or um, Lucy's 100 reps. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and then I will see you tomorrow for training. If you guys are following my workouts, I've now put it together in an ebook because in my ebook, then I can cover nutrition as well, and it's got you video links because the results I cannot tell you that you guys have been sending in have been utterly amazing. And I think the reason being is these workouts are so easy to stick to because you can do them at home, they are just really super short, but they are super sculpting, super toning, they burn loads of calories, and what you're telling me is that you're enjoying working out for the first time ever and you know what the brilliant thing there is you are not going to yo-yo up and down your weight is then going to you are going to be able to maintain a healthy weight um, so in the book it has 26 different workouts you've got photos before and afters photos of the exercises you've also got video links so you can click straight onto a video plus there is a 14 day healthy eating plan along with a shopping list and lots, lots more. Um, and it is available now on my website and it is ideal for absolutely everyone. So if you're a complete beginner and you wanna just learn how to be fit and healthy for the rest of your life, to even if you're a fitness bunny, then this book is ideal because I also have different variations for different fitness levels and it is available on my website, which is lwrfitness.com.